Hello, North Country, and welcome to Barker Memorial Gymnasium at Plattsburgh High School for Section 7 Semifinal Volleyball. Tonight, the Plattsburgh High School Hornets meet the Beekman Town Central School Eagles. I'm Foxy Gagnon. I'll be joined by Pete McMillan with the play-by-play -play call. Plattsburgh High School of Coach, coached by Vicki McMillan and assisted by Kim Quinn, the junior varsity coach. And for Beekman Town, Jay Cameron is the head coach and he's assisted by Laura Kraus. The winner of this one heads to the finals uh, for Section 7 Class B Championship and the losing team will end their season. And of course, that's a big game, a crucial game for the seniors on this uh, Plattsburgh High School team and Beekman Town Central School team. And they met earlier, uh, they met last week in a CVAC contest, it was Plattsburgh victorious, three games to win, to one over Beekman Town. Bob Pooler is the voice of Barker Memorial Gymnasium for volleyball. And I will turn things over to Pete McMillan with the play-by-play -play call. Well, Foxy, it's good to be back here with you. It's been almost a year since we've been back together. I remember that well, Pete. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if we can have as good a match as we had that time, but everything here leads up to be that kind of a match again. On well, the same two teams, by the way. Yes. Beatman Town and Plattsburgh. And pretty interesting, these two teams split during the year with Beatman Town beating Plattsburgh on their court. Plattsburgh returning the favor and beating them on Beatman Town's home court. So we're back here for the rubber match. And these two teams match up very, very evenly. Excellent athletes on both sides. With a mixture of seniors and underclassmen both playing big roles. Of course, we got some changes in the rules since the last time we played, or we met, I should say, yeah. watching that, uh, that finals last year. Now they're playing games to 30 and it's called rally scoring. Uh, that means every time a ball hits the floor or goes out, there'll be a point scored, whether it's on a serve or on a defensive play. Uh, I can't think of another sport, Foxy, where momentum plays a bigger role. Whoever team gets started out the quickest has a big advantage. And as our viewers can see, fans are still getting uh, into their seats as they came right towards our camera. We got some beautiful close-up looks at some of the late arrivals <laughs> for the game. And we are set for play. Who's starting for Plattsburgh? Uh, Plattsburgh's going to start out there with uh, Katrina Staves, Dove Condifoli, uh, Heather Warmoth. Up in the front is Katie Pooler, Elizabeth Tregan, and... Kelly, Kelly Niederer, and Plattsburgh to serve first. And you're going to see a lot of that tonight. There's an outside set. Nice play, and that's a point. Last year that would just be side out, but this year that's a point. Uh, it makes it real tough to come from behind. And every serve becomes critical. Exactly, and you're only getting one serve this year, Fox. Free ball over by Plattsburgh. Little miscommunication. Tough ball, good up. A lot of good athletes here. You're not going to see that ball hit the floor too often. Let's see how many of the starters on Beatman Town we can find. Well, Plattsburgh serving to Beatman Town. Good return. It's set by Pooler.
pretty cautious so far. Neither team really attacking. And again, instead of side out, that's a point. For Beeman out Beeman Town out there, we see Kalen Facet. We see uh, Eileen Svensson and let's get this play out of the way. Oh, missed it by number 12. Uh, they've got Erica Gagne was number 12, but I believe that's uh, Denny is number 12. Yeah. I think that's a mistake there. I agree with you. I believe in the back row, we've got number 11, and that's Lori Montgomery. Number 12 is Lindsey Wilfor, and I'll get you that player in his far corner right after the serve. That could be out, and it is out. And that player is number one, Leah Mills, and that's a starting five. Or starting six, I should say. I'm thinking basketball here. Yeah, only natural. Hard serve by Svensson. And Eileen Svensson serves the ball as hard as anybody out here tonight. And again, there's so much pressure on every point because momentum is big here. Both teams seem a little nervous. Big hit by Elizabeth Tregan. So it's 5-3 Plattsburgh in game one. And Heather Tolner in for Kelly Niederer. Heather's a pretty good server and a good defensive player in the back row. Tough serve, good return. And that's a little long. It's one of those high fastballs that got away. Toller to serve again. Tough play, good play. Good play by Fissette to get that ball over. Nice play. Pretty good execution right here by both teams. Waiting for an open. Good, good focus by both teams. And that's gonna fall, that's a nice play. Oh, tough play. That was an excellent rally, Foxy. That was a great example of both teams' ability to concentrate even when you get that odd kind of a play. It hits the net or it goes off somebody and both teams are staying very focused here. And that's the terms in the net. It's gonna be side out, end point, Beatman Town. And a first sub for Beatman Town. And that's Katie Barr in. And I'm not sure if we've said the officials. Uh, we'll get to those right after this here. We don't want to forget them. And that's point up on the chair is Skip Bassett. One of the most veteran officials in this volleyball organization on the floor, Tim Sheehan. And for semis and finals, they have two linesmen. That's an outstanding recovery by Plattsburgh. The two linesmen, Foxy, are Pat Carroll and Ed Smith. And you'll see those for semis and finals from now on. And, all right. We got substitutes both ways. Oh, tough serve. Free ball, it's a good pass right there. Oh, great recovery. That's a tough play. Another rule change this year, Foxy, that we weren't used to last year is when that serve hits the net. Last year, that was automatic side out. This year, if it hits the net and goes over, it's in play. Which could throw some teams off. Yeah. 
Nice pass. Good up right there. And that's point platform. With Elizabeth Tregan serving, and she's one of Plattsburgh's better servers. And that one's out. I just jinxed her. <laughs> That's like the kid that hasn't missed a free throw in 20 attempts here. So it's 10-6 uh, in game one, and we're yep. going to play a best. Uh, we're going to play games. best of five. Best of five. The first four games are to 30. If they need the fifth game, it will be to 15. All of them will be rally scoring. Good offensive attack right there by Beatman Town. Oh, it's a nice change up. Both teams are still executing well. And for Plattsburgh is Elizabeth Duquette for Heather Warmoth. Elizabeth has been a good server all year for Plattsburgh. Very consistent. Big hit. You cannot have a ball hit the ceiling and continue on over to the other side of the net. It's an automatic side out. It can hit the ceiling and come back down on your side. You can still play it. It can't go over the net. Ooh, that's just long. Those two linemen are real uh, important because that's the toughest call for both up and down officials to see that back line. With these two guys here, we'll have that covered tonight. Good consistent serve. He it reminds me for basketball. I'd, I'd be interested in a third official for sectional time. Has there ever been it's, discussion of that? It has been talked about. Of course, NC2A now has been with three officials for quite a while. Uh, it's just get agreement from all sections to agree to do to it. It's a nice set by Fissette. Oh, nice play. Good concentration right there. Yeah, as far as basketball has been talked about, what they need is agreement by all sections so that it would be the same wherever play was. We got Kelly Niederer back in for Heather Toller because Heather's turn to rotate to the front row. Coach McMillan wanted a little bigger hitter up there. Dove kind of fully to serve. Nice pass. And they've got. I think that was Lauren Keogh on the net that time. So that would be point Beatman Town. 13 to 9. Beatman Town serving. And good free ball over. It's a nice pass. No. Nope. Well, you talk momentum, and now it's to Beekman Town. It goes back and forth sometimes. It's never more evident than in this game of volleyball. That's a good pass. Nice out. It's a good offensive attack, just a little long. We have Katie Pula going back in for Keel. And congratulations to Katie Pula. She's been accepted at Plattsburgh State, and she'll play volleyball there at Plattsburgh State. Way to go, Katie. Katrina stays, the freshman. That's a nice offensive tip by Fissette. And Kalen is also one of their more consistent servers, too, for Beatman Town.
Good serve. And that ball's out. 14-13. It was 13-8. It was so and the Eagles have come back. That pendulum called momentum is swinging the other way now. We're tied at 14 to 14, and Coach McMillan wants a timeout to try to break this momentum. Timeout in game one, and it's Plattsburgh 14, Beekman Town 14, uh, 13. And we'll make that correction quickly. It is 14 all. Yep. You notice both of these teams play what they call in volleyball a 5-1. That's with both teams having a single person out there that they want to set all the time. And the idea of that serve-receive is to pass that ball to that setter the best they can so she can make a good set so they can have a good offensive attack. And of course, without a good pass, you end up with a free ball like that. There is a good pass, a good set, and a good offensive attack. And that's what both teams are looking to do. Right now, Katie Pooler being that setter for Plattsburgh and Kalen Fassett being that setter for Beatman Town are looking to try to hit with that pass. That's a good pass to Katie. Good set and a good hit. Good return right there. That's going to be over. Nice block by Elizabeth Tregan. See a lot of play at the net tonight. And we got Heather Wormuth going in for Elizabeth Duca again to replace that offensive person up front. And that's a good pass. At 12 is Ashley Denny. Uh, they have a, a mistake here on their score roster. Good serve. That's Eileen Svensson. It's a nice play right there in the back row. And that's off the block and down. Looks like both teams are settling in a little bit here. They're not quite as nervous as they were when we started. Tied at 16, we get ready for the long haul, the second half of game one. Yep. Heather told her in to serve. That's a good pass to Fassette. And there's that offensive attack. Pooler. That may be the first Beatman Town lead. Yeah, I think it is, tonight. since the start of the game. We have number 10 coming in. Who I believe is Katie Labar. Good serve. Going to force a free ball over, which gives Beatman Town a chance to attack. That's a nice little touch ball. Eighteen sixteen, Beatman Town serving. Good serve. That's a good pass. Perfect pass to your setter. Oh, a little too close to the net. Point Beatman Town. That's out. And Lauren Keel in for Katie Pooler. 
Nice 11 to 3 run by the Eagles. Yes, it was. That point. Very consistent serving. There's a free ball over. We'll see how they attack this. Tough play. Good offensive attack. That setter is a lot like the quarterback. She runs the offense, sets the offense up, and if she does what she's supposed to, the offense gets a chance to execute. Hard serve. There's that net serve we were talking about this year is now legal. And when it catches that net and holds up, it's a lot like that changeup in baseball. Everybody gets caught flat-footed. And we're tied at 19. Yes, we are. And there's Jess Bois in, number five. Left-hander and a very effective server. That's a good set. And it's a little long. I think some of these numbers aren't right for me. I'm not sure either, to be I honest with you, because... I had the coach check the roster, but... Wow, I think it's number 11 right in the center. And they have her down here as five. Yeah. We might have to get some corrections. Is We'll have a Beatman Town fan fix our roster right after <laughs> game one. It's a nice set. And this will be a free ball over. Ah. Stays tried to get a little too much out of that one. It would have been a great play if it had made it over. She tried to just float it over and it caught the net and stayed down. Oh, big serve. Big serve, great reflexes. We start to get into that 20 range and every point's important now. 22 to 20, beaten down in the lead. That's a good set by Facet. That could be, no, good play. Free ball over. Good pass to the setter right there. Good set and a good hit. Just long. Good offensive attack. Just out. Three point lead looks big right now. It certainly is, Foxy. Good serve. Big serve right there. Twenty-four to twenty. We'll play to thirty. Yep, that four-point lead is big. Oh, good reaction right there. Uh, Timeout by Coach McMillan. Again, trying to break this momentum. You're watching Section Seven, Class B, semifinal volleyball from Barker Memorial Gymnasium at Plattsburgh High School. I'm Foxy Gagnon along with Pete McMillan with the play-by-play -play call. Oh, nice play. Great reflexes. Good play by Tregan to keep it up. Nice hit by Eileen Svensson. Big hit by Eileen Svensson. And number one for Beatmantown has been serving well here. Another big serve. Another big serve. Beekman Town doing everything right. They lead 27 to 20. Another good.
good serve. It's a good pass right there. Nice up by Beeman Town and has a good set. Back to Plattsburgh. We'll see if they can get the momentum back here. Dove kind of Foley's a good server for them. And Kelly Neener in for Heather Tolner. Dove kind of Foley to serve for Plattsburgh. Good pass to the set. And, well, we had a little difference of opinion there. We got... Yeah, I saw that. We had the uh, up official calling it on the line, and the uh, linesman saying he thought it was long. Right now, I don't think Coach McMillan's going to argue. So it's 27-22, Plattsburgh down by five in game one. Dove kind of fully to serve. And that'll be point, making it 28. With Will Ford to serve. Will Ford being a sophomore. Nice short serve, that's a good pass by Stays. That's a good up right there. Point. Now this is possible game point beaten in town. Well placed by Staves. Well, now the pressure's on the server here because the first bad serve, oh. game's over. Oh, I guess so. So she either serves out or it's game. Staves, just a freshman. And the first freshman, and as long as I can remember, playing varsity volleyball for Plattsburgh. a good pass right there. That's a great offensive attack by Fassette. She jumped as though she was going to set it and dumped it over and Plattsburgh wasn't ready. And that's game one. Beatman down 30, Plattsburgh 24. Critical game one. While we get ready for game two, there are a couple names I want to mention. Cricket Terry is the site manager. Chelsea Gibo and Kim Bazayo, uh, the ticket takers at the gates. Mark Donnelly, of course, the athletic trainer. <laughs> Rachel Cleland is the scorer on the clock. Megan Jensen, the official scorer. Bob Pooler, the floor announcer. And Kevin Niederer, the ball boy for Plattsburgh High right. School. And one game. First one goes to Beekman Town Central. Well, here we are, game two. The sides switch like they do always in volleyball, alternating different sides of the net and different benches. I remember you and I commented on that last time, why they would change benches, but it's to put the coach right on the same side of the floor as his players are. Makes for substitutions and communication. So everybody switches when they, every game. We're gonna have the set serving first for Beatman Town. That's a pretty good pass to Pooler. That ball's out. Now it hit the top of the net and then bounded out. If it hit the top of the net and gone in, it'd been, okay. per been perfectly legal. Yeah. That's a real good pass right there. Side out. I guess we should say it was a battle among the big three in Division One. Um, Pretty much. Peru, Beekman Town, and Plattsburgh. Right. And Peru took first place. Is that Just happened? barely. They took it by half a game. Plattsburgh was second, Beekman Town third. Yep. Peru and Plattsburgh split. 
Beatmantown and Plattsburgh split, but Peru took Beatmantown both games. So that gave him the edge. And Beatmantown had to win one to get to this uh, semifinal. They had For, to win a quarterfinal. They beat uh, Saranac Lake. On the CBA, C. Plattsburgh was uh, 12 and 3, Beekmantown 11 and 4, and then you add the one uh, postseason for Beekmantown. Pretty even records. Very even. 12 Very three, even. Uh, for Plattsburgh, 12 4 for Beekmantown. And their contests against each other were very, very close, very competitive. Yes, team. they are. They're playing with a lot of confidence right now. On, and with Eileen Svensson serving, she can run off a string of points very quickly. There goes your jinx again. It never fails. <laughs> she is a very good server, though. I'll remind you when to say that. Yeah, all right. We got Katie Pooler serving for Plattsburgh. Again, that all-important pass to your setter is what starts a whole offensive attack. Six to two, Beekman Town, and they took game one. Yep. Who's serving? This is Katie Barr for Beekman Town serving. Heather Tolner in to serve. Good serve by Heather. That's a good pass to Fissette. Again, you, you get the good pass and a good set, and both these teams are going to put offensive pressure on you. They both have kids capable of hitting that ball. Here's a free ball. Every now and then the fans might hear the term free ball. They're not giving anything away. Uh, what it means is the ball is going to be played on a third hit, like a, a more softer hit. It's not going to be a hard offensive attack. Eagmanton on a roll here, eight to four. They're playing with a little more confidence. Nice play by Trigan at the net. And Lauren Keel in for Pooler to be the setter now. Coach McMillan rotates her setters. Good serve. That's a real difficult serve to get up. Has a lot of top spin. It's almost like that overhand curveball. It just starts to drop when it gets over the net. And those left-handers, we know how they throw. Oh, left-hander. <laughs> Big hit by Stays. Plattsburgh searching for a little formula here to get some momentum. Another, and that's a nice pass. Oh, 
great rally right here. This is a great rally right here. Good cover right there. Nice play. Another nice play. Oh, that was a great rally. Both teams had great opportunities right there. Is that Will Four, number four? Yes, it is. Will Four. The sophomore. With the final eight, just the sophomore? Just the sophomore. <laughs> you like how I say that, huh? <laughs> can tell you you're, a tell. you're a regular viewer. <laughs> <laughs> that could be out. Yes, it is. Speaking of regular viewers, I met uh, Elizabeth Tregan's grandpa and grandma Tregan before the game. They're here tonight, and it was great to meet them, and they're regular viewers of our Channel 15. Good serve. That's a great pass right there by Tolner. Side out. Elizabeth Duquette in for Heather Warmoth to serve. These teams are pretty much set in how they want to attack. It's just going to come down to execution. Beekman Town 10, Plattsburg 9. Tough serve right there. We're going to have a free ball over. That one is out. 10-10. Well, Pete, as a casual observer that I am of volleyball, I'd say you're not going to beat Beekman down three games in a row, so Plattsburgh in a must-win year. Do you concur? You're certainly right. Uh, it, neither team wants to get down 2-0. Uh, they know that the opponent they're facing is, is too consistent to want to have to come back from that kind of deficit. So this is a pivotal game. Twelve ten, Beekman down. Roll four serving. It's a good, a good scramble by Plattsburgh. Here's a free ball over. Good pass. Oh, wow! Little volley at the net there. And Nieder in for Tolner. Again, to get that offensive fight up front. With Conda Foley to serve. Good serve. What a play. What a play by Kalen Fassett to get that ball up. That was incredible. Oh, big hit by Stage. A number 10 can attack the ball like that, that close to the net. It's going to be hard to get it up. And you're right about Facet. I about gave up on it on my camera. I didn't, thought that was an ace, and I didn't think she'd get to it. If it's one thing number six won't do is give up. Tied it well, beat. That's one of the few mental mistakes I've seen. Like in tennis, I'd call that an unforced error. And so far, there haven't been many of those on either side tonight. That's why we pay you the big bucks, Pete. You got all that terminology. <laughs> Goose still talks about, you knew what an administrative technical was. <laughs> that was a long time. We got side out to Beatman Town with the set to serve. Every once in a while, Goose will turn around to me and say, Foxy, is that an administrative technical? I'll say, I don't know, I have Steve McMillan. No, uh, I hope you don't have any Saturday. <laughs> All right, to set to serve here. That's a good pass to Keel. Skip didn't quite like the way she came under that and sort of held it just a little too long for a legal set. Called that a carry. That was a good call. Good 
And you don't know what little thing can happen to shift momentum here. Must be Peru is playing someone in their semifinal game. That's right, Foxy. Peru's playing Northeastern right now in Peru. That's a good pass to Keel. This is a good. Oh, that's a tough play. Caught him a little off guard on that free ball. We got side out to Plattsburgh. We got Pooler in for Keo to be the setter up front now. So we have volleyball well covered. Yes, I'm we sure, do. I'm uh, sure Calvin Castine of Hometown Cable is at the Northeastern Peru contest. I would imagine he's covering his Northeastern Cougars down in Indian country. And we'll send him a copy of this tape, so we'll say hello to our viewers in the Northern Tier uh, from West Jay-Z up north. Oh, good play right there. Oh, good ball. Oh, that one's going to be out. Look who's serving. Svensson to serve. And she'll change it up a little bit. She'll serve the hard one, then she'll serve the soft one. Here's a free ball for Beatman Town. That's a good pass. There's another good pass to Pooler. Good hit by Elizabeth Tregan. She's another one. You give her a good set in her area, she's going to put a lot of pressure on the defense. She's a sophomore. Another sophomore, and we got Heather Warmoth in for Elizabeth Duquette up front. Tied at 16 in game two. And again, we reach that halfway point. We're just a little past it. With Pooler to serve. Good free ball play there. Good set. And that ball is out. Cooler with a couple of nice plays there. Cooler to serve. Seventeen seventeen. It's a good one. No breathing room for either team. Katie Barr in. For Jess Barr. Katie to serve. Oh, good serve. There's that net ball. Good pass. Another play by Fassett to get it up. Just not where they could play it. And Heather Toller in. Katie Need here. Come on, Heather. Come on, Heather. Heather to serve. Good serve. Good set right there. That ball long. Yep. Good attack, though. Good offensive attack. Plattsburgh by one. Tolner to serve again. Good serve by Tolner. Here's a free ball. Oh! I think Wolfo was expecting something a little harder than that, and it threw her off. Point Plattsburgh. Good pass right there. Ooh, big hit by Dove kind of fully. And Dove likes that cross court attack. Blacksburg by three. Again, we're nearing that 20 point margin. All right, here's another free ball here. Good pass. Oh, nice try, though, by Eileen Stenson to get that hard hit. 
by Elizabeth Trigan up. 22 to 18, Beekman Town needs a stop here, Pete. You might get time out to make that stop, Foxy, and there it is. Coach Cameron thinking right along with me. Coach Cameron says, I can't let this get too many points here. And a lot of times, timeouts are used just for that, to try to break momentum. We are in game two. Beekman Town won the first one, 30 to 24. We're watching section seven, class B, semifinal volleyball. The winner moves on to the finals. The end of the season for the team that comes out on the short end. Yes, it is. That's always a tough one on a serve where it looks like it's gonna go out and it just drops in. It's, it's a tough decision sometimes. Toller to serve again. Good pass by Denny. There's a set, an attack. Oh. There's that side out they needed. So Big McDowell gets a serve down 23 to 19. And Erica Gagno to serve, and she is a very effective server. A left-hander again. Back set. Big hit by Elizabeth Tregan. Side out to Plattsburgh. We got Keo in for Pooler. Keo will now be the setter. Elizabeth to serve. Very, very good play by Facet again. Thinking she's going to set the ball and instead she dumps it over. Sort of catches Plattsburgh flat footed. Leah Mills to serve for Beatman Town here. That's a great pass. Leah Mills to serve again. And that ball is just long. And good serve by Elizabeth Ducat. And it's 26-21. Every point right now is real important. Another good serve. This good pass right there. Nice play. That's a nice play right there. Because that was a very good hit. All right, free ball over. Oh, just a miss it by Eileen. That's a real good rally by both teams. So, Plattsburgh up by a six pack. Both teams really concentrating here. Neither team wants to make an error. Tough serve. Tough serve by Elizabeth Duca. She had some big serves in the CVAC game in the Eagles Nest last yes, she, week. Yes, she did. Good pass. Good one. That ball was in. That's another one of those decisions you make and hope it goes out and watch it catch a line. Serve to, serve to beat Town with Wolf Ford to serve. Back to each other. That was a good pass. Three ball over. That's a nice play in the back row by Elizabeth Tregan. Yeah. And oh, he's going to call her in the net. 
That was a great oh. offensive attack. I think her follow through just hit the oh, net. Oh, oh, tough break there because she brought the hammer down. There was no getting that one up, but. 28-23. With Wilford to serve. Nice play by Fassette. Again, number 10 putting a little pressure on here. We've got Kelly Nieder in for Heather Tolder. Dove kind of fully to serve. That's over, I think. That's a great free ball right there. Oh. got that one, Pete. That was uh, Eileen Svensson again. Eileen's been a real consistent attacker. And Ashley Denny just came in. Erica Gagno for set to serve. That's a good pass. Good set. Some nice, nice play by both teams to recover. That's a little close. Off the hand. Game Plattsburgh, we're tied up at one. Both games, 30 to 24. Very interesting. I hope you've had supper because I think we're going to be here a while. Hey. We're on to game three. Well, this is game three. For all practical purposes right now, it's the best team to two. Well, it's shaping up as a true Section 7 Class B semifinal barn burner. Yes, it is. For some reason, when these two teams get together, we'll have Plattsburgh to serve first with number 10, Katrina Stays, to serve. First point to Beatman Town. They met in the finals last year. Both teams will not meet in the finals this year. No, they won't, Foxy. Boy, I figured that one out. <laughs> Facette serves. In. That's a good serve by Facette. Good play. A little close to the net, and it's over. That ball sort of crawled along the net and fell over. So the Eagles jump out 3 nothing. 3 nothing. Big hit. Big hit by Elizabeth Trigan. A nice set by Pooler. JD Pooler to serve. Man, just wide over there. And Eileen Svensson to serve for Beatman Town. Big serve by Svensson. That had a lot of power on it. Side out Plattsburgh. Tolner in for Nieder. Tolner probably to serve. Trigan at the net is tough. Very consistent with a good sense of timing. Tolner serve. It's a good pass right there.
Well, what, what Skip's going to say is as that ball came over, it brushed the backboard and then carried over to this side of the net, which would mean it's out. Well, he's the boss. So it's 5-2 beat the count. That's 6-2. And again, an unforced error. With Labar serving. And side out, Plattsburgh. Going Kia win for Katie Pooler. And Bois in. Intriguing to serve. It's a good pass if the set. Good attack. That's a great pass on that good hit. Well, that's a little close to the net, though. Side out to Beatlandtown and Erica Gagno to serve. She's been very effective so far tonight. <laughs> and as a course of rule, uh, when I make that statement, they usually serve it to the net. So that makes it 7-4, to four, beat me down. Elizabeth Duquette to serve for PHS. <laughs> and just wide by stage, side out to Beatland Town. With Leah Mills to serve, number one for Beatman Town. Good serve. Good hard serve. Leah's a senior for Beatman Town. Right now. Another good serve. Big hit by Eileen Stenson. Good block up there. Little mix up there and going for that ball. Point for Beatman Town. 10 to 4, Beatman Town. Leah Mill still serving. And that ball is just on the line. And again, sometimes subs can be used to break a little momentum too. Without calling a timeout, simply having a substitute sort of stops the server's momentum a little bit. And that one is out. Side out to Plattsburgh. Katie Pooler back in. And another sub, Nieder in for Toler. They must have strict rules about substitutions. I see Tim Sheehan is checking on mm -hmm. the sheet. Well, not only substitutions, but also positioning on the floor. You have oh. three players in the front row, three players in the back row, and they must be in a particular position going right to left across, oh. right to left across the back. Because of the rotation, it always moves as the players move across towards us to the back and across the back row and up to the front. You have to make sure you're going in the right spot. And the official score keeps those things Yes, they on do. The sheet. Yes, wow. they do. Trying to fully into the net. Maybe that long delay froze her a little bit. They went to the official score, Megan Jensen, and they got the right answer. Yes, they did. Will for the serve. Yeah. 
know, some people may not like that, but I think that's a good job of officiating. Skip Bassett looked at that, thought about it for a second, decided that was a carry and called it. Even though it was a little late, it was still the right call. Oh, little miscommunication there. Katrina stays serving. It's a good pass. That's a little close to the net and out. Those hitters don't like that ball too close to the net because their follow through would hit it, so they've got to pull up short. I was just thinking, hitters in volleyball are a lot like hitters in baseball. They want the ball right in the perfect spot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Time out, Beaventown. We're in game three of the Section 7 Class B semifinals. And it's one game apiece. And in this one, game three, it's Beaventown 12, Plattsburgh 9. Well, we had time for a couple faces in the crowd. We'll get more later. Stays to serve. Big hit by Svensson, a little long though. And again, Eileen Svensson for Beantown isn't very tall. She's got tremendous vertical leap. Another good pass, set. Good play right here at the net. Good concentration right here by both teams. Good block right there by Beantown. Creating a free ball. <laughs> nice play by Heather Woolmouth. Nice play. There's a free ball. There's a pass. Set. A little close to the net. Oh, just got beaten down in the net. Point and tie, 12-12. Wow. And served by Staves. And in. So the previous one must have made it 11 -12. It must have been, yeah. Now they're 12-12. There's a, the change up, a little slow, a little softer. A little closer to the net. Nice play by Gagno. And that's going to be long. Side out to Beatman Town with the set to serve. And we have Ashley Denny coming in for Gagno to give them a little more height up front. There's that. That could be out. And again. This set's been real consistent back here.
this is a real good rally right here. And that ball's in. That was great placement right there. Who got the final hit? Did you see who got it? I think that was Mill. Or uh, not Mill, yes, Mills, number 11 up front. To set to serve. That's a good pass. That's also going to be out. It's in that halfway point. Nice play by Eileen Svensson to get that ball up. Good serve by Fassett. Oh, good hit by Kelly Meter, side out to Plattsburgh. Did they get that ball or? They usually have another one ready. I don't think they got it back. There had been five unanswered points by the Eagles, so Niederer answered that one. Yeah. Katie Pooler to serve. Good serve right there. That's a good pass. A back set to Svensson. Ball's down. Eagles up 18 to 13. Eileen to serve. Oh, just miss hit that. Side out platform. It's over, I think. That's a good pass right there. To nice play by Leah Mills. Free ball. Oh, a little nice play right there by Leah Mills. Playing well up front. Good coverage by both teams here. Slide out to Beatman Town, a great rally right there. Both teams concentrating. Katie to bar in to serve for Beatman Town. She has served well. Now what they're going to call right there is, uh, for lack of a better word, an interference play. The defensive team is not allowed to reach over the net and interfere okay. with, a, with a ball that was a pass or a possible set for the other team. They can go straight up on their side, they can't come over onto the other side. That was Point Plattsburgh. Big serve. Elizabeth Tregan with a tough serve. Another good serve. Great play to just get that ball up. Three ball over to Beatman Town. Free ball right back to him. Nice play in back row. There's a good pass. Oh, good play by Katrina Spade at the net. And we just got a shot of a few moments ago. Tim Pulsifer covering the game for the match uh, for Press Republican Sports. Oh, very good. There's a short serve by Tregan. Oh, 
Oh, tough one. A good play. Oh, and that's going to be just over. Nice play by both teams here. Good composure. Good passes. Big hit. A little low. Big hit by Katrina Spade. Both teams are hoping to get that kind of an opening to really put some pressure on the ball and Plattsburgh ended up with a real good opportunity. And both teams showing why they made it to the semifinals. They certainly are. Both teams executing very well right there. Side out to Beatman Town. A good little run though by Plattsburgh. Beekman Town 20, Plattsburgh 18. And Erica Gagno in the serve. Come on, Hunter! Point Beatman Town. It's a big game here. Here's a free ball by Beaton Town. There's a good pass right there. Nice play by Beaton Town. Another good pass. Two to 18. The set's been real effective with that little dump on that jump set. Hey, here's a break. Another one of those unforced errors. We have Elizabeth Duquette in for Heather Warmoth. Elizabeth to serve. Nice play by Tregan. Oh, and twenty-two to twenty. This is back and forth here. Oh, oh. side out. 23 to 20 in game three, we're knotted at one. <coughs> that's close. And that's Leah Mills serving back there for Beatman Town. Good serve. Nice play. Who yeah. say that one was um, uh, Lauren Keo number four? Yes, she did because the ball the ball did hit the, the ceiling and came down quicker than normal, and she adjusted to it at the last second. Kelly Nieder in for Toler up front. Doug kind of fully to serve. 24-21 beat down in game three. Could be long. Yep. Side out. Couple of missed serves by Plattsburgh cost them the last two possessions. Will for the serve for Beatman Town. That ball's in easily. Katie Pooler in for Lauren Keel. 
Katrina stays to serve for Plattsburgh. Inside out, we have Ashley Denny in for Erica Gagno. Ashley will be up front now. For set, to set the serve, and she's been effective. Big serve right there. Oh. She came with that hard one. 27-22. And that's just out. Twenty-eight, twenty-two, two points away from game two. Knuckleball by Fissette. Oh, big block by. I think that was Elizabeth Tregan right there. And she's been very good at the net. Katie Pooler to serve. Heather Warmoth in for Elizabeth Duquette. 28 to 23. Beekman down on the verge of winning their second one today. Good serve. Another good play by. Balls in easily. Two big plays by Kelly Niederer. Twenty-eight, twenty-four. Oh, a lot of pressure on these serves with everyone counting. And this is, could be for game number two. Hey, and they both fit in there. Oh. Those are killers. This new rule change. Yes, it is. Normally, last year that had just been side out. This year it adds a point. Pressure on Heather. Yes, it is. Good serve. And that's point in game. Game number three. I, I think number 11, Bois, got that hit up front. Yes, she did. Bois. So what was that one, 30-20? 30 Beatman Town, 25 Plattsburgh. Game number three goes to Beatman Town. They lead two to one. Game number game number four, Foxy. Beatman Town leading two games to one. And the pressure has definitely shifted over to Plattsburgh. Think so? Uh, I'm going to take, a, to take a shot because uh, Beatman Town, not that they want to lose game four, but can play a little more relaxed because yep. losing game four simply sends them to a game five where Plattsburgh losing this game sends them to a comfortable seat to watch the finals. Again, a discussion about, uh, must be about positioning to start this. Tim Sheehan checking everything yep. carefully. Now, very similar teams. We talked about that uh, at the outset, Pete. Uh, a good mix of younger uh, underclassmen and seniors yeah. on both teams. Exactly, Foxy. Everybody playing particular roles and contributing. But both of these teams have a lot of returning players. Oh, great recovery because that was a good serve by Fissette. So if we look for a difference, the only difference I can see is in the coaching staff, Town, a third-year coach, Jay Cameron, 
and Vicki McMillan for Plattsburgh High School, over 20 years as the coach. Yep. With a several Section 7 championships. Good play by Tregan at the net. And they're going to need a big game. They're going to need Tregan and Stays. They're going to need a lot, of the, a lot of their kids to step up this game to make sure we go to a game five. Nice play by Bois back there. Nice play by Stays to get that ball up. Eileen Fence in the serve. Glasgow <laughs> two, Big Newtown one. And a ruling of some sort. Well, what they're going to call right there is a back row attack. Oh. And by that, a player lined up in a back row went up for a block. And because she blocked the ball and it came back over to Plattsburgh's side, you can't from behind a 10-foot line, if you're one of the three players that line up behind there, you cannot play a ball which, above the net that causes it to go over, even if it's a block. So it's 4-0, four 4-1. Four 4-1 four now. With Eileen Stenson in the serve. And Eileen served well all night. And Leah Mills made a good offensive attack on that one, just a little short. Side out, Plattsburgh, Katie Poole to serve. Point Plattsburgh. Good serve by Katie. All three games thus far have been very close. Very close, very similar in score. Good block by Tregan. Oh, what a play. Great recovery. Oh, good left hand by Leah Milk. And I don't think she's left handed. But she hit that ball with her left hand. Leah Mills, big play for Beekman down following a whale of a play by um, Kelly Niederer. Yes, it was. Keep that ball over. And we have Labar in to serve. Nope. They gave that point to the I'm confused on that one. I thought that was Plattsburgh that hit the ball up into the ceiling, but he must have called somebody into the net. Will four into the net. All right, Plattsburgh got a break. Six to two, Plattsburgh. They were close. Again, that left-handed hit has got to be different for these kids to pick up. You don't see a lot of left-handers. I'm a left-hander. Maybe that means I'd be good at volleyball. I think you've got a chance here. I don't know if you have any eligibility left, but... <laughs> now they've told her to serve. Ooh, a little close to the net. Good pass. Ooh, tough one to handle. That's a real tough one. Wow. Wait, just a good play to get it up. Oh, a little back set. Nice play. 
Nice back set by Katie Pooler and a good hit by Heather Warmoth. Following uh, Bois, who just kept it alive somehow on a smash. Had a double block that time, it had been tough for Dove to hit that one through. Erica Gagno in to serve for Ashley Denny. Good serve. It's a good pass right there, back set. Three ball over. Will Four made it eight four, huh? Yes, that was Will Ford at the net with a good jump set from Fassett. Could be close. No, they're going to call out a carry. And that's a giveaway. One thing that that may be uh, may be hard to be picked up by some people, but. Uh, the set for Beatman Town has had a great match so far setting the ball. Very consistent. That's a good hit right there by Stave as Coach McMillan subs in Kehoe and Pooler to alternate serving. The set's the only server, setter I should say that they use. So there's a lot of pressure on her every play. And only a sophomore. Trigan to serve. It's a good block at the net. And a good hit. Well, kind of fully put a little pressure on the ball. Eleven to five. Plattsburgh. Trigan to serve. Got a little too much on that one. Side out. That was the home run swing. And this is Leah Mills to serve for Beatman Town. She served well and it served well here. Nice play right there. Heather told her to get that ball up. serve. Yeah, Side out Plattsburgh. Good placement there. Plattsburgh 12, Beekman Town 7. Plattsburgh looking at the end of their season right in the face. They need the win now. They have got to make every opportunity count here. They can't afford too many unforced errors here. Duke get to serve. Good set right there by Fassett. All right, free ball over. Here's a pass, here's a set. Nice play. Oh, nice play by Tolner. And that's just a little long by Will Fork. Try to get a little something on that one, it just carried long. Elizabeth Duke had to serve. Oh, 
Here's a free ball over. And a good offensive attack by Stage. Come on, group. Timeout. Beaten in town. They don't want to let this get too far away. In game four, it's Bradford 14, Beekman Town 7. Beekman Town leads two games to one. Okay, we had some more faces in the crowd. Yes, we did. And we're back in time with Duquette serving for Plattsburgh. Just wide. And Wolford to serve for Beatman Town. Good pass. Set. Oh, what a get. What a recovery. And that ball is long. Tell you what, Cassette has dropped that ball in that, in that center, opening every time. That's the first one they've gotten up. And they made a great recovery on it. That who almost was good. Who got it? I'm not even sure who dug it up. It might have been Keel. And we have Conda Foley to serve. Oh. Plattsburgh's working hard right now. They have a 17 to 8 lead that I think that's the biggest lead any team has had throughout you, you today. You could be right, Foxy. And I see you haven't had to, you haven't lost a touch for Jigsy either. Well, I know how to take away <laughs> momentum as well as anybody else. And Pete, we've been playing like uh, an hour and 40 minutes and my stomach's starting to crumble. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Just set the serve. Good recovery by Plattsburgh. That was a tough, a tough serve. Oh, good hit by Svensson. And again, Fissette's been one of the more effective servers. Unanswered points for the Eagles. Good serve. And Katrina Stave putting an end to that rally. And Katie Pooler in. Lauren Keogh. Katrina Stave to serve. This will be a free ball over. There's the pass, the set. Oh, just a little miscommunication. That ball got blocked slightly and just threw the receiver off. Let's recap the officials for this one. Do you remember them? Again, one? up on a chair, I think is uh, veteran Skip Bassett. Uh, down on the floor, your uh, down referee here, Timmy Snow, or not Timmy Snow, Timmy Sheehan. And the other two linesmen. Nice play by Elizabeth Cregan. Uh, Pat Carroll and Ed Smith. Nice play by Elizabeth Cregan at the net. 20 to 11. Katrina stays serving. Good pass. Good back set. 
And a good hit. The back set has been effective all night. Eileen Svensson to serve and just miss hit it. She serves it pretty flat and she comes close on that kind of a serve a lot of times. That time it didn't quite carry. Heather Warmoth in for Elizabeth Duquette. Katie Pooler to serve. Good serve by Katie Pooler. Good serve by Katie Pooler. First double digit lead of the day, 22 to 12, Blasberg. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if your, uh, your capacity to uh, stop a rally holds true here. Oh, if this is the case, <laughs> that should go long. No, it didn't. Good set by Fissette. And down. And Katie Pooler still serving for Plattsburgh. There can't be any lead big enough for Plattsburgh in this game because they, this is a must win. Tough serve, nice play by Eileen Svensson. Back set, Ashley Denny with a good hit. Big hit, nice play. Another good play. Nice play by Elizabeth Tregan. Players have time like that, they can see the opening in the court. And sometimes a dump like that is as effective as a hit. Katie Pooler to serve. Good pass, set, good block. Again, that was a double block over there with Heather Wormuth and Elizabeth Tregan. Flatford doing everything right. They lead 25 to 12. Katie Pooler still serving. And Side out, Beaman Town. Labar in to serve. Eagles need a run right here. No time. Good serve by Labar. Back set. Nice play. And. That was a rare miscue there. Side out to Plattsburgh. Tolner in for Nieder. Tolner probably to serve. And Bois returned for Beak McDowell. Yes, she did. 26-13. Good serve. It's a great pass. Good hit by Wilfor. We caught Will Four in the net on that one. Again, that down referee, that's all he's looking for is contact in the net on these rallies. The up referee is going to take the play above the net. Just caught the tape by Tolner. Side out, Beatman Town. And we have Erica Gagno in the serve. Short, look for the short. A left hander. That's a good pass, back set. It's a good block right there. Gonna call that two hits. He said it hit one hand, then the other, instead of both hands simultaneously. And we got a substitute for Plattsburgh, Lauren Keel in for Katie Pooler with Elizabeth Tregan to serve. Gotta have good eyes to be a volleyball official. Yes, you do. Oh, tough serve. Good pass. Nice play by Beatman Town. Twenty-eight to sixteen. I wonder if anybody's ever lost a contact lens during a volleyball game. I don't know. Ever seen that happen, Pete? Can't say I have. <laughs> Oh, 
Nice play back there by Heather Tolner. Because that ball was deflected at the net. Good play by Tregan. Oh boy. Oh, oh, tough play. Tough play right there. The Seb didn't have much of a chance to get out of the way of that one. That's worth 29. 15. Elizabeth Duquette in for Heather Warmoth. Duquette to serve. And just short. That would have been a tough serve if it had made it. Side out, Beatman Town. With Will for to serve. Pressure on her because of that no second That's right. Chance. Nice play by Tregan. That's a little close. Oh, nice play by Katrina Stage. Game four to Plattsburgh, 30 to 16, and we're knotted up at two. And I hope you like leftovers warmed up. Pete, I don't care what my wife's got ready. I'm getting a bucket of wings on the way home. We played four, and it's Beekman Town two, Plattsburgh High School two, and one of these teams will go on to the Section 7 Class B Finals. Which one will it be? It comes down to just 15 points. 15 points, Foxy, and it goes by quick. If you think momentum played a factor at 30, it is twice the factor at 15. Excellent crowd, and we are ready for the all-deciding Game 5. The set's going to be their first server, as she has been all night. And probably their most consistent server. Tim Sheehan still checking uh, the lineups. Make sure people are in the right rotation to start with. Make sure who the speaking captain on the floor is. To set to serve. Close to the net. Point Beeman Town. And again, we play this to 15. 15 so, any oh. lead's a big lead. Oh, boy. That is two. Two good serves by Fissette. Right away, she can put the pressure on Plattsburgh. And she's a sophomore. That's all. Good serve. Svenson that time. Yep. Again, a, 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 poor, a poor return forced by a good serve. It's a good pass, a good set. Beamantown getting a piece of that. And that's a little close. Oh, they got well, Spencer into the net right there. That was a break for Plattsburgh. Because that ball was going down. And Katrina stays being a first serve for Plattsburgh as she's been all night. That's a good pass right there. Good play by Dove Condafoli. Oh, miscue. Leah Mills made a great block. 11 block. Oh boy, I mean, made a great block. It just couldn't get that free ball over. Right. She made a couple of excellent plays and then missed the one that was right there. And again, every free ball is big because it gives the other team a chance to attack. Like that right there. You really don't want to have to play very many free balls 
to simply give the other team a chance to attack you more aggressively. We're tied at three. Katrina stays to serve. And... Nope, side out beating the count. And Bois with the good play there. Eileen Stenson to serve, another good server for Beatman Town tonight. And I think he might have called a, a serving fall on that one because he pointed back to the server right away. Four to four. Katie Pooler to serve. Good play. And again, here's that free ball. We'll see what Plattsburgh does with it. Nice play by Svensson. Good play by Stays. Yep. Side out, Beatman Town. Do you remember, did you write down the four game scores or do you remember them? They were 30 to 24, 30 to 24, 30 to 25, and 30 to 18. The last one being the biggest spread. Oh, this hit by Warmouth. Beat Town up 6 4. Beat Town took game one, Plattsburgh two. Beat Town three, three Plattsburgh four. four. This is a bar serving. Back set. There's a pass, the set, and the hit. Again, both teams, when they execute their offense, are effective. Right now, it's going to come down to who can keep executing. We got Tolner coming in for Nieder. Cooler intriguing on that last uh, point. And Bois in for Labar. Tolner to serve. Oh, tough serve. Great play by Svensson. Oh my goodness. And that's over. That ball hit the line. And you cannot afford to let those kind of balls drop. What a play. Great play by Svensson to get that ball up. Wow, that makes a 7-5 Beekman down. And they're halfway there. Good serve. And again, the set is at that spot all night. Come on, Hardy! And Gagno has been an effective server. You might see a timeout by McMillan, and you just did. Oh, she jumped off the bench. Time out in game five, and it's Bigman Town nine, Plattsburgh five. You're watching North Country Cable Network. I'm Foxy Gagnon, along with Pete McMillan. Thanks, Pete, for working with us. And we say hello to everyone in the northern tier on Calvin Vision. Our friend Calvin Castine, the godfather of videography <laughs> in the North Country. And we're just the, the rookies down here in Plattsburgh, <laughs> North Country Cable. What can you say to your girls? What did Coach McMillan say? It was more to break the momentum and get their girls to just relax a little bit here, get a good return to serve. Make a good pass, make a good offensive attack. Nice play. Good play by Beatman Town. Nice play right there by... Oh! Again, that was in by a lot. That was Mills that time. And Beatman Town returned a couple that I thought were points by Plattsburgh. Just great concentration. There's no doubt the momentum right now is on red side. 
Gagno to serve. Nice play. Side out Plattsburgh. Tough serve, nice play by Svensson. Free ball here. Big hit by Stay. Again, every time they force a free ball, it gives that other team an opportunity to be aggressive. Plattsburgh got a chance to get aggressive that time. 10 to 7. Yes. Trigan can put pressure on a, on a returner. Again, that ball might have been long, but it got deflected by a Beatmantown player. And Beatmantown is not going to waste any time and let momentum get shifted. Timeout, Beatmantown. You're right. This time, Coach Cameron jumped off the bench. And timeout by Beatmantown. It's Beatmantown 10 and Plattsburgh 8 in game 5. All right, Elizabeth Trigan to serve. Trailing 8 to 10. Here's another free ball. There's the pass. There's the set. And the ball is down. We're 9-10. Good serve. Nice return by Mills. Real firm with the hit. Oh, good dig. This is a good rally here. Nice play. That was, and there's that spot. Free ball over. Free ball over. Another free, a lot of free balls here. Nobody wants to take a chance. Nobody wants to take that chance here. Playing it very smart. Good hit, nice return right there by Tregan. Big hit by Stage. That's three hits in a row by Stage. I think he got reach for that take. <laughs> that was a long rally. Both teams using a lot of a lot of patience to wait for the opportunity. Tied at 10. Tied at 10. First team to five here. Big serve by Tregan. Oh, miss. There's a free ball. And that's out. Yeah, they're going to call the ball is deflected on the block. Oh. I'm going to tell you right now, fatigue is a little bit of a factor here. These girls have played into the fifth game at 11-11, and conditioning and who's got a little more uh, desire left is going to play a difference here because both these teams are a little tired right now. Good serve. Oh, every point's big here. Elizabeth Ducat serving that one. Elizabeth Ducat to serve again. Flashburg up 12 11. And just out. 12 12. Oh, my God. She tried to get that line and just missed it. Will Ford to serve for Beatman Town. Good serve. That's a good pass. Big hit and deflected. I tell you what, I don't know where Stay's got her second win. But she's swinging pretty freely here in this fifth game. Blacksburg 13, Beeman down 12. Do you have to win by two? Yes, you do, Foxy. Doug kind of fully to, to serve. Good 
Good serve. Again, here's a free ball. We'll see what Plattrick does with it. Good pass. Good set. No, that's called two hits. We could have a timeout here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Beaver Town calls timeout. <laughs> and they do. Game five. Yes. Tied at two apiece and it's Blacksburg 14 and Beat McDown 12. Time out, Beat McDown. <laughs> How much time you get left? Here's Doug kind of fully to serve at 14 12. It's a good serve. There's a set. Svensson. And Plattsburgh in the net. 14 13. Oh, I've got goosebumps. And I don't think Beatman Town will want anybody else serving the number six right here. Plattsburgh 14, Beatman Town 13. Section 7, Class B semifinal. To set the serve. Good serve. Here's a set. Oh, and that's in. We're tied at 14. Did Svensson get that one? Yes. To Got set to serve. <laughs> good serve. That's a good pass. Good set. Nice play in that back row. Here's another free ball. Oh, and that ball dropped. Lucky break for the Hornets. That ball caught the net. Well, Warren Keel muscled it over. Now is, the uh, crush. This is Kate, Katrina Stage serving for Plattsburgh. For all the marbles. Good serve. That's a good pass right there, and it's a good set. Here's a pass, set, nice play back there, another nice play, all right here's a free ball, big hit, here's a free ball, oh, we're tied at 15. Neither team wants to go home. And I think Eileen Svensson needs a break right here. Oh my, I'd like to have her out there though, Pete. She looks a little winded right now. She is, but oh my. I know what you're saying. This is the first break she's had. No more timeouts. And you can't call a timeout. This is Lori Montgomery, the first time she's been in the game. Just, and we got a timeout. Who took the timeout? I'm not sure who called the timeout. Wow. It might show it. My goodness. Who? Plattsburgh called the timeout. timeout. Okay. This Lori Montgomery has not been in the game yet. She's coming in to serve 15 15 in game five. Unbelievable. Nothing like a baptism under fire here. Wow. This is like bringing Manny Mota into pinch hit in the World Series and he hasn't played all year. Oh my. Tied at 15. What a contest. And Lori's only a junior. Good serve. Good pass. It's a good hit right there. Good safe hit. That's over. Well, we're going to call red in the net. They're going to call both players in the net, which will be a replay. Oh my, what else can happen? They're going to call both players, which is a replay. So, Lori Montgomery gets to do it again. Good serve. There's a free ball, there's the set. There's a free ball. Why isn't that two? Wow, they had about
Oh, four hits on it. Blacksburg by one. With Katie Pooler to serve. Heather Warmoth coming in for Duquette for Plattsburgh and Eileen Svensson back in. She's going to take Montgomery's place. I, didn't, I couldn't think Coach Cameron would have to keep her out too long. Just enough to get her win back. Tim Sheehan checks something with Skip Bassett. And yep. Katie Pooler to serve. Good serve. Good set. There's a free ball. Pass. Back set. Another free ball. There's a good set. And that ball is down, and Plattsburgh has won game five, 17 to 15, in another uh, tremendous game. Just a, a great, great contest for both teams. Back and forth, Foxy, all night long, had some remnants of that championship game last year. It sure had all the ingredients of championship volleyball, I'll tell you what. I tell Both teams deserved to go to the finals. They certainly did. This was a real tough loss for uh, either team. Uh, when you get to game five and you get to 15-15, uh, that's a heartbreaker. Congratulations to Plattsburgh. They go on to play the winner of Peru Northeastern. And Beedman Town had another great season. So, B, it looks like we're going to work again on Monday at the finals. It'll be uh, Plattsburgh High School against either Peru or Northeastern Clinton Central. Exactly. Uh, and I believe that'll be at Memorial. Okay. And another great place to, to play and watch volleyball. Uh, a great place to cover volleyball. Let's see how your memory is as we recap. Uh, game, game one. Game one went to uh, Beatman Town 30 to 24. Game two went to Plattsburgh with the identical score of 30 to 24. Game three, Beatman Town came back uh, almost the same score, 30 to 25. Game four, Plattsburgh in a must-win situation came back with a strong game, probably the strongest game for either team at 30 to 18. And game five uh, was just another uh, nail biter with Plattsburgh pulling it out 17 to 15. Thanks to Pete McMillan for working with us. Pete, always fun to work with you and we'll do it again. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity, I'm glad to be here. Congratulations to Coach Vicki McMillan and uh, Junior Varsity Coach Kim Quinn and all the Lady Hornets for their big win. They are on to the Section 7 Class B Finals. This is Foxy Gagnon on behalf of everyone at North Country Cable Network saying thanks Pete and good night. <laughs>